by polluting the oceans, not mitigating CO2 emissions, and destroying our biodiversity, we are killing our planet. Let us face it, there is no planet B. That was French President Emmanuel Macron speaking before a joint session of Congress on Tuesday and calling for action on climate change and other environmental threats. This week, one growing concern was amplified by a new scientific study. German researchers found much higher rates of plastic particles in Arctic sea ice than were previously known, a form of contamination that, though small, threatens life throughout the region. Here to talk about it is Time Magazine editor-at-large Jeffrey Kluger. Jeffrey, good morning. Good morning. Let's talk a, a in a little more detail about what exactly microplastics are, Jeffrey. Well, the name says a lot. Microplastics generally come in under five millimeters, but the thing is the large majority of them are much smaller, on the order of microns, which is a thousandth of a meter. Some of these things are 11 microns, which is a six of the width of a human hair. And in this case, small is bad because it's much easier to circulate through the ecosystem, yep. to get into fish, and to work its way up through the food chain. A lot of beach bodies out there. I mean, people are yes. swimming in the ocean. They That's are exactly eating, consuming right. everything coming out of the ocean. What, what does this study really tell us? Well, it tells us, first of all, what we know that these plastics can do. They can. Uh, disrupt genetic expression, which is huge. They can cause body-wide inflammation. And we're learning the numbers of the, the concentration of these things. In a core sample of ice about the size of a wine bottle, hmm. they found 12,000 particles of microplastic in a clump of ocean soil, just two pounds. They found 6,500 particles. So these things are ubiquitous. Do we know what specific types of plastics they are? They are, and there's some nasty ones. There are 17 different types of plastic. There's polyurethane, there's polyethylene, mm -hmm. there is plastic from, from uh, paints on boats, there's nylon, there is cellulose from cigarette filters, and there's even particles of car tires as they wear away. Because remember, these things are so small that they become windborne and then they float, float. out into yeah. the ocean. Oh, all that stuff sounds really bad. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but they still can't really tell us what it might do to us if we do ingest or consume it, if we are swimming around with it. And, uh, well, that's the problem. And there are two ways it gets into your system. It gets in on your skin. Mm -hmm. It gets in if you swallow water. And again, the biggest concern is seafood. Freshwater fish, funnily enough, absorb water through their skin. But marine fish, the kind we eat in, in supermarkets, drink this water. It is impossible to keep this out of the food chain. What the fish have eaten, you and I are going to and, eat. And they breathe the water. And they yeah. breathe the water. They exactly breathe it. Right. Jeffrey, how surprised were they to find this? Well, they were not They were not surprised to find that there are plastics in, there, in, in the sea ice and in the water because mm -hmm. other studies have shown this. But what they didn't expect were the concentrations. These concentrations they found this time are two and three times as high as the concentration is before. And a big part of it is that great Pacific garbage patch right. we're hearing about, which yeah. is twice the size of Texas. I mean, it is our trash. It's, it is our garbage. What can we do to stop the flow? Well, there are a few things we can do. First of all, in terms, some of what's causing this is overfishing because fishing vessels come in, especially in this area around Siberia, and nylon nets leach mm. off particles. Flaking paint has heavy plastic components, so you have to use different kinds of nets. You have to uh, take better care of your paint, and you have to not be overfishing these areas that are fishing and that are overfishing any anyway. When it comes to the garbage patch. It's going to take that a long time to dissipate, but what we have to be doing is not dumping more of this garbage at sea. Does so these affect, patches don't Does it grow. affect the water effectively, Jeffrey? It does affect the water effectively, and the problem is you get a swirling. So ocean currents are what bring warmth to the northern hemisphere, which is fine, but everything in that water swirls completely around us. Think about the ocean as a great body with a great pulsing heartbeat. The currents are, are the blood system. The contaminants are carried everywhere. Yeah. And so much of us. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Oh, my goodness. Jeffrey Kugler, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.